15 Best Things to Do in Palestine If you happen to travel to the Middle East, you really shouldn't miss the opportunity to visit Palestine. This is a place like no other, unique in terms of history and culture, with people that are amongst the most welcoming you can find, and food that is mouth-watering. Home to some of the world's most famous religious tourist attractions, Palestine is often thought of purely as a pilgrimage destination. But for travelers not seeking out religious sightseeing within the churches, synagogues, and mosques, there are plenty of other things to do. Watch this video to know about the 15 best things to do in Palestine. Number 1. Meet the Palestinian people at a homestay or Bedouin camp. One thing is immediately apparent to those who travel to Palestine, the people are incredibly kind, hospitable and proud of their heritage. While it's easy to strike up a conversation with just about anyone you come across, one of the best ways to see firsthand what their day-to-day -day life is like is to book a homestay. Number 2. Wander the Old City of Jerusalem. This old city of Jerusalem might be small, but it has some of the oldest stories in the world to tell. Strolling through the walled town marked by seven strong gates, and 37 towers is nothing short of enchanting, particularly at night when street lamps softly illuminate the narrow stone passageways, and the golden glow of Temple Mount's dome shines steadily in the distance. Dodge the crowds of pilgrims and take a walk along the walls that still wrap around the old city. Explore the city's fabulous museums, and immerse yourself in the mazy lanes that kings, crusaders, and conquerors have all fought over. Number 3, Watch a Traditional Darbuk Dance This spirited dance dates back centuries in Palestinian, Lebanese, Syrian and Jordanian culture, and is traditionally performed during happy occasions like weddings or festivals. Darbuk, which means stamping of the feet in Arabic, has some variations, but choreography typically sees a group perform a high-energy combination of circle and line dancing, complete with plenty of half-kicks and twirls. Number 4. Explore a Monastery For a hike with some serious wow factor at the end, tackle the dusty trail that winds through the expansive Kidron Valley. Known for its caves dating back to Byzantine times that were once inhabited by monks, the walk passes by fields of wildflowers, and under wide open skies, ending at Marsaba Monastery which is perched dramatically into the hillside. Number 5, Visit the Israeli West Bank Barrier in Bethlehem. To get a sense of what life is really like in Palestine, head to the Israeli West Bank Barrier during your Bethlehem visit, which is just around the corner from the Jassa Palace Hotel. This massive, gritty slab of concrete is just a tiny portion of the wall separating Palestine from Israel, which soars as high as 25 feet in some places, and is topped with barbed wire cutting off Palestinians from the rest of the country, save for those permitted to leave the territory with a special permit. The incredible street art depicts the artist's feelings of oppression, along with messages of peace and hope for a resolution to the conflict. Number 6. Go swimming in the Dead Sea. Cap off your trip to Palestine with a dip in the Dead Sea, which is one of the Middle East's most famous attractions for good reason. Not only is it the lowest place on Earth at 400 meters below sea level, but the water's high salinity means people are able to float without even trying it's basically the next best thing to being in outer space. Number 7, Visiting Jaffa. A picturesque vision of honey-colored stone, Jaffa is a chilled-out little harbor town with an illustrious past as a major port. Made for aimless wandering and home to an excellent flea market, Jaffa provides an old-world-style respite from the modern thrum of Tel Aviv next door. The muddle of lanes leading down to the sea, where once the great ships of the ancient Mediterranean empires docked, are now a haven for cafe hopping and lazy afternoon sightseeing. Number 8, Timna Park. Raw and rugged desert scenery at its best, Timna Park, near the Red Sea resort of Eilat, is one of the most beautiful corners of the Negev. The landscapes here have a visceral quality, which enchants all who visit, with towering cliffs and surreally shaped boulders, set between vast tracts of multi-hued sand. 
Number 9, Enjoy Happy Hour in Taibi. The Middle East is usually one of the last places that come to mind when talking about alcohol, but that's not the case in the picturesque Christian village of Taibi in central Palestine. There, rolling hillsides are covered in so many vineyards you'd be forgiven for thinking you're in the Napa Valley, and the village is also home to the first brewery in the Middle East, Taibi Beer. Number 10, Fine Foodie Heaven in Nablus. Along with being one of the largest cities in Palestine, Nablus is also a favorite for foodies. It's here that you'll find some of the best traditional dishes which are influenced by both Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cuisine, and sweet Levantine treats like kanafe. Number 11, Take a Hike. A series of walking and hiking trails are emerging in Palestine, following the same routes that caravans once used to exchange goods. There are three main areas, the Jordan Valley, the Central Route, and Via Maris which connect Bedouin camps, valleys bursting with wildflowers, thick olive groves, arid desert landscapes and hillside shrines. While independent hiking in Palestine is possible, a better way to do it is by booking a guided expedition through an organization like the Siraj Center which offers a variety of days-long itineraries. Number 12, Sea of Galilee. Packed full of attractions, the shoreline that wraps around the Sea of Galilee offers gorgeous countryside and bags of history. Whether you're here to visit the churches of Tabor, where Jesus delivered the Sermon on the Mount and carried out much of his preaching, or you just want to soak in the hot pools near Tiberias and do some hiking, this beautiful region is a major highlight of any trip. Don't miss taking a swim in the sea itself, and soaking up the views across the lake on a hillside hike. Number 13, Fortress of Masada. The mountaintop fortress of Masada, overlooking the rugged scenery of the Dead Sea region, is home to incredible vistas and some fascinating history. This is where King Herod's once mighty palace stood, and where the zealots took their last stand against the Roman legions. If you're up for a hike, the winding snake path is the perfect way of reaching the top, with excellent panoramas all the way. Otherwise, take the cable car and see the views without the sweat. Number 14, Bethlehem. A major Christian pilgrimage center, Bethlehem is home to the Church of the Nativity, built over the site where Jesus Christ is said to have been born. The stately church complex with its far-reaching historical significance, and the busy market vibe of the bazaar make this the number one highlight of the West Bank. Although many travelers only come here as a day trip from Jerusalem, the town is an excellent place to base yourself for excursions into the surrounding countryside, with its Byzantine monasteries and sites related to events relayed in the New Testament. Number 15, Morning at the Mount of Olives. Take a bus from Herodes Gate at the Old City in Jerusalem to the top of the mount. Take in the gorgeous view, and stroll down and across the valley to the Temple Mount. It is a beautiful way to spend the morning, before getting lost in the crowded streets of Jerusalem's old city. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel.